Hey you all, I'm Mark Walker. I'm the owner of Ooh Wee Sweet Tea and Ooh Wee Sweet Tea Restaurant here at 1225 East on 87th Street in Chicago. We now just getting ready to open up our brand new restaurant here on the south side of Chicago where we feature over 50 different types of cereal, over 20 different toppings in your cereal, and over eight different types of milk to choose from. You can dine inside our facility or you can dine outside on our patio where we feature flat screen TVs, gazebos, flowers, and fans for your comfort level. This place is a place where you can eat and drink like kings and queens, in my opinion. Uh, I originally started out with my sweet tea here on the south side of Chicago, right here at 87th and the Dan Ryan at Harold's Chicken. And from that, we have branched out to many, many locations where we sell our sweet tea. Every place from Harold's Chicken to Sharks, J&J Fish, the Hyatt Hotel, Surf's Up Restaurant, Goose Island Shrimp, Morrison Soul Foods, Walmart, Whole Food. I mean, and the list just goes on and on where you can find 17 different flavors of our sugarless sweet tea. We sweeten all of our tea with our very own honey, local raw honey that is, honey that is brewed from our very own bee farms right here in the city of Chicago and surrounding suburbs. Well, the cereal bar concept has been something that's been on my mind for a little bit over three years now. Uh, I'm a fan of cereal. Uh, the family I come from, a uh, family of nine of us, and we grew up on cereal and milk. Uh, and so I just wanted to do the same thing. I do recall another company uh, trying to do it here in the Chicago market. It didn't last less than six months for them, but I believe that it's something that could last on the south side of Chicago in our own community. And so that's what geared me to do this same concept, but just turn it up a notch and offer people something different. The menu is just crazy. Um, I want to be a little bit over the top. So even with the cereal bar concept and our toppings, our toppings, you can get everything from Oreos to marshmallows, fresh fruit into your cereal, uh, Pop Rocks, gummy bear, bears, Swedish fish, you name it. If you want extra Lucky Charms in your cereal, we'll make it happen for you. So on our food menu, we carry everything from shrimp and grits to fried biscuits. Uh, we do a pot roast nachos, collard green egg rolls. Uh, we have jerk chicken tips. Uh, we do your regular turkey and dressing on, uh, on our Sunday brunch, but we're gonna do things with a twist uh, here. So it won't be a norm soul food restaurant. Uh, we're gonna add some flavor to it, definitely. Everything is made from scratch here. We're not gonna play with you all when it comes down to this menu. We're going to start out from scratch. We're gonna give you uh, your grandmother's uh, favorite recipes and some stuff with a twist to it. So with the, the whole tea concept, you know, when that particular uh, concept started, my whole goal set was to offer people something different than what they was normally used to. Everything from the Snapples, the Mystic, the Lipton. And so here it is, I decided that we're going to flavor our tea with local raw honey and fresh fruit to give it a unique taste. And so I wanted to be different. I know there's nothing else out here on the market. You can't get strawberry banana sweet tea, caramel apple, our top seller Obama, which is peach, mango, cherry, and pineapple mixed together. And so I knew that if I was going to start a restaurant, we have to do something different. If we're going to do soul food, everybody doing greens and macaroni and cheese, what's going to make our greens and macaroni and cheese any different from the next person? And so I wanted to make sure that we do it with a twist. Uh, and so that's our whole concept when we said, hey, we're gonna do this whole cereal bar concept and then we're gonna do some soul food. Uh, we're gonna infuse some Creole in here. Uh, and then we're just gonna have a off the chain looking facility. And so that's what you're gonna get when you walk in here. Either you're gonna say ooh wee because of the way the place looked or because of the taste of the food or the tea. Well, when I looked up and I did my research on cereal bars, uh, first of all, there's nothing like this in the state of Illinois, nowhere. Uh, I, I would say that you do have some places that feature cereal walls or something like that. They don't feature the bar concept, nor do they feature where we uh, serve your milk to you ice cold without putting ice cubes in your cereal. We shake it up in a martini glass and get it really, really cold, strain it into your uh, bowl that way. Uh, and of course, all of our different toppings that we have. Uh, but the decor in here, I wanted people to be able to come in, sit down like kings and queens, uh, and be able to eat a bowl of cereal, get on Wi-Fi, uh, entertain guests. I wanted something for the seasoned citizens of our neighborhoods to be able to come to a place that was a little bit different and unique 
but in your community, that's only going to take you no more than 15 to 20 minutes to get to, uh, opposed to us having to drive all the way up north or even experience in Hyde Park or some place for the south side to come to. The cool thing is, is that I just started franchising as of August uh, with the whole tea business. We've been very successful with that model. All of my franchisees are doing very well. They're making money, they're being prosperous, uh, which is a, a great response because now we're employing numerous of people in our own community. Right now, to date, we actually employ 53 people totally uh, in our community. These are jobs that we see physically. Uh, and so I'm excited about that. Uh, but the road that we're going right now, the path that we're going, we're putting vintage tea stands into locations all across the city and suburbs. That's creating jobs. Our own employees are manning our own tea stands. We're giving people another second healthy option other than soda, uh, other than all these uh, caffeinated drinks. Because when you get ours, you're getting sugar free, you're getting gluten free, you're getting caffeine free. And so that's so important to us because we're feeding our people the right thing in our community. And the product really tastes good. Uh, and so we offer you samples. Uh, you know, to get you hooked. We don't even advertise that there's no sugar. We want to get you hooked. And then after you taste it, we'll let you know what you just drank has no sugar, no caffeine in it. And so that's what, you know, our whole concept behind this whole thing is to create more jobs in our community that we can see and give people a living wage. That's what uh, we're really trying to do. Whatever it is that you want to do, you have to step out there. Don't think you need a lot of money to do it. Don't think you need a lot of education to do it. You can make it happen. I'm telling you, when God gives you an idea, he gives you a plan. Your credit report don't reflect that plan or that idea. Your background, your education don't reflect it. That's a God-given idea that he's given to you. You have to explore it. Don't think that you need a loan. Don't think you need partners. Don't think you need an investor. You can do it. Start on the level that you can afford. Start from the bottom, work your way up. As you get the money, as you get the education, as you get the experience, some type of way God is gonna send you some key people in your life to help you get to that next level. But you got to put the foot forward. You have to try it, you have to. Don't be afraid to fail. It's one thing I always, a motto that I always use is that uh, is I hope you fail. I really do hope you fail because if you're anything like me, I failed before. But it's only failing if you stay down and you don't get back up. But it's good to fail because it's not until you have truly failed that you have truly succeeded. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Uh, you know, we are doing well in terms of when I use the word we, I say, you know, black America. We're doing very well for ourselves. And so I'm so excited not only for that, but even young people in general that uh, we're doing well in terms of the younger generation. Uh, you know, at, at one point it just seemed like we were all just so lost. Everybody's not uh, shooting up, robbing people. Uh, we got some very flourishing businesses out here, some hungry young folks that got some great ideas. I just think that we need more people out here that's going to help one another. Not going to be afraid to give out information, share information with folks, tell them how they got to this point, give them some insight on some different things that they can do. Uh, I think that's what you know is really all about and being successful is about bringing somebody else along the way to uh, carry that journey with you and so that's what I'm here to do. Social media has been the bomb.com for me. Uh, I mean we're getting so much exposure on social media everything from the cereal bar concept to the whole tea. I mean I'm getting people reaching me from all across the world from New Mexico, Alaska uh, and so I'm excited about that. I really am because it's encouraging other folks to do the same thing. I mean, I get so many responses where people saying, oh, you stole my idea. I wanted to do that when I was a little kid. I thought about that. And I tell them all the time, it's enough out here. You too can do it still. Uh, just try to do it better than what I'm doing. And so, all right, I'm Mark Walker signing out. This is Uwe Sweet Tea. All right, Indigo, Eye on Shy.